So here's a simple tip that's going to help you improve the consistency on your topspin forehand. Now, this video is sponsored by PlayYourCourt.com. If you want to play more tennis and find people in your local area to play against or hit with, use my link in the description, PlayYourCourt.com slash 2-Minute Tennis to get 50% off when you join. Now, I want you to pay close attention. This is me, by the way. <laughs> I want you to pl pay close attention to my back elbow. And I want you to notice all the space between my body and my back elbow. This is called airing the armpit where, you know, if somebody were standing behind you, and this will be this view here, if, you know, the camera view is from behind, and you can see my back armpit is exposed. Another way of explaining it is I like to tell people to have their shoulder, their elbow, and their hand. So the hitting elbow, the hitting shoulder, and the hitting hand to all be the same height. When you have your back elbow up, it helps keep your swing small because then the racket is not going to go back here. If you notice... I keep my racket on the hitting side of my body. So notice as my racket drops, it never crosses the plane. I don't want you taking the racket back onto this side of your body. The swing gets too big. It can be too difficult to time it. And it can also be difficult to keep track of where your strings are pointing. So keeping your back elbow up is kind of like a blockage. Like it doesn't allow the racket and the arm to go far back. And then from there, the racket is just going to go down. And then you're going to go through contact. You'll see... When I'm coming around to hit, notice my strings are facing down. You'll notice the closed racket face on both sides. My strings are closed. That's what allows my racket to face the ball and face my target when I'm hitting. You know, when you hit, you want to be swinging up the back of the ball with your strings facing forward. Or depending on the speed of how fast you swing, you can even have your strings closed uh, a few degrees as you're actually striking. You'll notice that my non-hitting hand is actually visible over my non-hitting shoulder from the back view here on, on the right here. This is a really important concept that on, on the side view, you can see that that hand is actually in front of contact. And from here, we can actually see it's over the hitting shoulder. These are just simple checkpoints that you can look for when you are hitting on the ball machine, hitting on your topspin pro, hitting with a friend. So go out and film yourself and make sure that you're doing this. And then last, I want you to hold your finish. Like, I want you to stick the landing like, like you're a gymnast when you're done and just catch the racket with your non-hitting hand before you go back to the ready position. All right, let me show you what this looks like in front of the camera. Now, to help me demonstrate this, I've got the Topspin Pro here. You know what to do. Grab my affiliate link in the description below. It would mean the world to me if you used my link to get a Topspin Pro for at-home practice. So thank you so much. All right. The difference between the back elbow up and the back elbow down. You see so many recreational players, they turn for a forehand and their elbow is jammed into their side. And what does that lead to? Typically the racket going way too far behind them and breaking the plane. Just a few days ago, I made a video on keeping the racket on the hitting side of the body. Well, it's not just what to do, you also need to know how to do it and why to do it. So when you take your racket back, take it back with both hands, but expose your armpit to a camera behind you. So film yourself hitting forehands from the back view. And when you turn, make it so that the camera can see the armpit. Now, another way of thinking of this is shoulder, elbow, and hand all the same height. When you drop your elbow, that's when you see the racket break the plane and go onto the other side of the body where this is my chest side and I'm trying to keep the racket more on the chest side of my body rather than letting it go onto the back side. You see players all the time, they turn, the elbows down, their swing is super large and then a coach will say, hey, you need to use a smaller swing and they'll put them like up against a fence and say, you know, don't hit the fence, don't hit the fence. Well, that's kind of an artificial way of fixing it because you're not really addressing the problem. You're addressing the, the, the symptom, which is the racket going too far back, but the, the, the real problem is that the elbow is down. So if you just have your elbow up, that fixes it. Elbow down, racket goes over there, elbow up, racket's over here. And then you can keep the racket more on the hitting side of the body. So let me demonstrate some forehands here over and over. I'll show you from the back and from the side. I've got my elbows out in the ready position, that way I'm already set for this. And I'm gonna show you my armpit when I turn right here. Look for my armpit. It's exposed. Do it from the side.
kind of blow out as I hit. And I like to do it at an interval that keeps the ball moving. So I'm not gonna turn down. I'm gonna keep that back elbow up. That keeps the racket on the hitting side. There are a lot of recreational players I would not allow in my basement because they would turn and they would hit this utility door where I've got my fuse box <laughs> for the whole house. I, I wouldn't let anyone do that because they bash their racket back here because their elbow's down. If you've got a back elbow up, then you can play here and hit <laughs> in my basement because you're not gonna hit any walls. All right, last one. And then hold the finish. Hold your finish when you're practicing. Make sure you got it right. Work on the back elbow being up when you turn on your forehand and film yourself to make sure that you're doing it correctly. And when you do, there's no doubt, you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.